This is Rahim Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will be learning how to calculate cumulative sum or running total or accumulated sum in Microsoft Power BI by using an explicit measure and writing a DAX. So let's get started. I have a data and I have two columns. Uh, we have months column. The data is starting from July then August, September for 2023, then we have 2024 as well. Okay. And we have a column of sum of sales, right? Now we want a column here, which basically uh, have a calculation of cumulative sum or running total. So let me show you how to do it. And there is an, a good approach of explicit measure. So the first thing is, uh, we will be using the visual calculation option so for doing that you go to home tab and you will find the new calculation option okay if you find this option like gray out don't worry you need to click on this uh, object that is table and that will enable now so when i click on new calculation so you can see a, a separate portion of window opens here and we need a running total basically calculation to be calculated here. So when I click on this uh, insert an expression template, we have a running sum option available. So when I click on it, so it says define the field. The name is sum of sales, right? And let's press the enter key. So we got the running sum here, right? But uh, there is an issue with this running sum okay now what happens we have inserted a running sum column from the visual calculations right so if we see july august september october november december these sum of sales has been keep on accumulating right but what happens next year from january 2024 february march april we don't want to carry the last year running sum to this year as well. So what we need is uh, this should be stop at 884 and then for the next year for 2024 it starts from this number 130 then adding 226 then 118 and similarly when the 2004 end we need for the next year again restart from the January month. So I hope you understood the issue uh, for built-in calculation of running sum what we are facing is that it's calculate the running sum but it's not restarting for every next year from the january right and that we need to resolve so how are we going to do that we will be inserting an explicit measure so need to add one column for the year so for doing that we click on new column and we will put a DAX here so that will be a for the year so we have a DAX called format so data from months column we need year bracket close press the enter key all right and let's format this as a whole number all right so let's first name that uh, cumulative underscore sum you can write any name you would like to then i will be starting with a dax called calculate okay i will be explaining uh, what's the logic behind it first let me complete uh, that entire uh, measure so we will nest in the expression sum from the data table sales column okay comma then we will be using a dax called filter and we will be adding here all and we will pick the column from the data table of months where we have that dates okay bracket close comma then we will say from this particular column if it's less than equals to max max of again the similar column that is data months close the bracket values all right so in the values we will pick the data table year column close the bracket and last bracket for overall calculate press the enter key and let's 
drag this cumulative sum on this table. Now let's see what's happening here. Uh, this particular cumulative sum column is being adding all the month wise balances, right? But when the next year started from January, it picks again the first January balance and then adding February, March, April, so on. Similarly, for the next year, you can see this is for December 2024. When the next year started, 2025, so again it picks the 68 as a new number and then adding a cumulative to it. Okay. So that's what we needed. But there is another issue with it. For example, if I drag the months here and if I say, uh, I, if I convert this into a slicer and we want just um, as a month as a slicer and let's format it as between all right so what happens if I let's say start from if I choose certain range of dates from here so what happens you can see here the cumulative sum which we have created it, it's not starting from from this particular month it's also adding the months which are hidden as well okay so we need to uh, modify this dax right so how to do that so instead of all we will be adding all selected okay so what this will do this this particular dax will do is basically this all selected removes any existing filters on the months column except for those applied by the slicers or any other visuals okay so let's press the enter key and let's see the results now so now as you can see uh, i have specifically choose the range of between of the from the month slicer and what happens it's it's working perfectly fine it starts now from two to six from feb march april right from here and eventually if i track it more so now you can see this is being corrected now right so so this is how we have if we want to calculate the cumulative sum reset from the first month of every year you need to apply this particular tax. Thank you.